guys, uh, Paul here. Today I'm going to be doing my uh, Shave of the Day video for this weekend. Uh, this weekend I'm going to be, or today I'm going to be using the um, Chiseled Face Midnight Stag Soap. Um, I was really excited when I saw this uh, soap and I read the uh, scent profile. Um, <clears throat> this is a, a scent that I really enjoy. Um, it's definitely a um, husky uh, leather kind of uh, scent. Uh, somewhat along the lines of like a Barrister Man uh, Leviathan. It's not a nice clean leather scent. Uh, it's kind of a dirty leather scent with like leather and kind of petroleum products. The uh, scent list uh, is, uh, or the notes in this are Russian leather, motor oil, Hoppies number no. 9, um, which is a powder solvent, uh, birch tar, oak moss, gasoline, smoke, cedar, Cade, bergamot, and vanilla. Um, that's uh, quite a list of uh, notes in there. Um, when I first got this and smelled it, uh, to me, uh, it, it, it definitely has that uh, uh, kind of worn, dirty leather scent to it um, with like kind of a petroleum, you know, bottom to it. Um, uh, it does not smell predominantly like Hoppy's number no. nine. It smells more like a, a leather kind of scent, but it definitely has a petroleum uh, twist to it. Um, the description describes this as a scent. Uh, the, the scent is supposed to invoke uh, uh, imagery of um, laying an old leather jacket down on a, on a, a pile of old tires and uh, cleaning your gun on that. And uh, yeah, it definitely uh, captures that uh, imagery quite well uh, in scent. Um, uh, the other one uh, from uh, uh, Chisel Face uh, Grumatorium that I have is the Ghost Town Barbershop. And that one too uh, really kind of ca captures the imagery that's evoked by the uh, name of the soap. Um, and uh, so far, the, these two soaps that I've tried from them uh, really are uh, really pretty good at uh, uh, capturing that imagery in a scent, and uh, I'm kind of excited about that. So I really like this scent. I have a matching aftershave and be using that too. <coughs> uh, for my razor, I'm going to be using a, uh, uh, this is a uh, Robert Williams uh, custom razor, um, and uh, the scales on this are made out of uh, polished uh, giraffe bone, and uh, really a beautiful razor. Um, really a great shaver. Uh, but actually, even though it's uh, pretty big, uh, it uh, it's pretty easy to maneuver around your face, and it really shaves uh, nice. So um, it's kind of the profile of the blade, maybe like a quarter hollow ground or something. Um, so uh, for my brush, I'm going to be using my uh, Eagle Three, and this one has a Best Badger knot. Uh, this a brush was special ordered from Simpson because, uh, as any of you guys know who are fans of Simpson brushes, the uh, Eagle brush has only come in Pure Badger, uh, which uh, for me is just way too scrubby. Um, so I special ordered this from Simpson and I love it. Um, I love the shape of the handle. It uh, really fits nicely in the hand and this best badger knot that they have put in here is really nice and soft. So I'll go ahead and get going here with the shave. Just wet my face. This soap is kind of a soft soap, so um, it's on the soft side. So I, uh, when I first got it, I did so uh, soak it while I was in the shower, but I found that it works a little bit better for me if I just uh, I don't put water on it and just go ahead and lather a damp brush. Keep the brush relatively damp and uh, use the water from the brush to kind of help uh, load the soap and start building the lather on the puck. So. I've been pretty happy with the performance of the uh, chisel face soaps. They uh, seem to lather quite easily. Um, and they're, uh, they, they do provide a nice slick protective uh, coating on the face. Um, so far this month I've just been using straight razors or straight style razors. Um, one of the Facebook groups we have a little thing going where we're some of the guys are just using uh, um, straight kind of razors for the month of November so I thought I would go ahead and do that and give me a little ch chance to 
uh, get a little more usage out of my straight razors and uh, kind of hone my technique a little bit. Uh, sometimes if you don't use it, the straight razor for a while, you kind of lose a little bit of your technique or uh, whatnot. So found that by using these more uh, pretty much every day, um, I'm really getting very, very good shaves with them. Uh, sometimes I would not get uh, very close to my neck, but it just seems like uh, um, recently I've been getting, you know, really, really nice close shaves with the straight razor. Uh, just doing a kind of straightforward uh, three pass uh, shave. So I think that looks pretty good. And we'll go ahead and just set the Sorry, just make some room here. Set the brush aside. I'm just gonna get some of the lather off the puck there and just put that on the brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the puck off here real quick. And we'll go ahead and get started. Get some soap off my ears. Get this off my neck. I need to shave way down onto my shoulders. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. We'll allow them on the fingertips and we'll get going. And this razor does have a little bit of a decorative kind of pattern on the back of the blade. It's got uh, jimping on both sides of the tang there, which is kind of nice. Helps you keep a good hold of the blade. It is a very heavy razor, um, so having that extra security in the grip is kind of a nice thing. Go ahead and then cloth and we'll lather up for our second pass here. I think uh, I've had this razor probably for about three or four years now, and I think I've honed it once and uh, um, although I don't use it that that much, um, you know, when it when it's gone, uh, when it started to lose some of its keenness, I usually just touch it up on my uh, chromium oxide uh, tasting strop and uh, and then strop it on the leather, and that seems to work really good. Uh, this uh, don't know, have no idea what kind of steel is in this, but uh, it seems to hold an edge pretty good. I did not buy this razor uh, or order this razor uh, from Robert Williams. I actually bought this secondhand. Um, 
from that gentleman that I bought some other razors from uh, in the past. And uh, he was trying to uh, get away from some of these bigger, wider straight razors and wanted to get rid of this one. So I was more than happy to take it off his hands. Alright, let's off again. We'll do our last pass here. You know, again, as far as the scent of this soap goes, uh, you know, I think this is a, you know, definitely described as a very masculine scent, which it is. Um, I think this is kind of a, probably a soap that, you know, a lot of guys will like the scent of this, but I don't know that this is going to be one that's going to be real popular with the ladies uh, and probably not the soapy and aftershave you want to choose for a night out with your woman. Um, it probably is not going to be a huge crowd pleaser with the ladies, but uh, you know, uh, I think guys can probably, a lot of guys can probably really relate to this kind of scent and would, would like it. So, you know, if you're just doing guy stuff and not planning a night out, uh, then uh, this will probably be a, a good soap for that. And I think, I think too, if you just use the soap and pair it with a different aftershave um, and don't use the matching aftershave, you'll probably be all right, too. Because, um, you know, obviously the soap scent is pretty strong, but it's not going to stick around that long, not long enough to inhibit your ability to use some kind of other aftershave or cologne or whatever. So. Okay, so it's all good. It's going to dry the razor off here, get any of that residual water off the blade so it doesn't rust or spot. I'm going to go ahead and rinse my face off.
going to put a little alum on there. And there you go, there's the uh, Razor Rock. About all it's left. It's pretty much almost time to give that uh, a, a retirement, but uh, I guess I'll use it a little bit longer. You know, to break out another uh, different alum block or stick or whatever. So, uh, Anyways guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply the aftershave. And I got the matching aftershave because I do really like the scent. And it smells just like the soap, obviously, um, but I, it's, uh, it, it is a bit stronger. And uh, it does have a little longevity to it, that's for sure. It, uh, it sticks around a little bit. Um, so again, uh, I don't know if you're, you know, I suppose there's some ladies that will like this scent, but again, it's probably, a, it's probably not a date night scent, but uh, who knows. Um, um, I like it, and uh, um, usually what I'll try and pair that with as far as a cologne is some kind of a leather cologne. Um, I've paired it with the um, Aqua de Parma uh, Intensa leather uh, uh, fragrance. Um, also, I've uh, uh, paired that with um, um, uh, um, yeah, uh, the Tower... Um, um, Lone Star Memories, it really pairs nicely with that. Um, and uh, so anyways, uh, that's it guys, that's the shave today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, uh, I will see you guys soon. Take care.